event to have uh, two presentation. One is done uh, by Emeline. Emeline was there in the month of April, and uh, she was so proud to come back uh, just for our symposium. And uh, I thanks a lot because I believe that uh, she could give us uh, quite good uh, experience uh, that she had uh, in April. And uh, she will just to explain uh, what they did it, uh, what could be some other activity could be done uh, in uh, Lafonisos. And also we will have, uh, is tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll have a, a, a friend of Emeline and uh, we will have some tiles and we will paint the tiles, uh, focus on symposium, focus on nature, and though we'll be have uh, something that could be uh, again recorded, remain here, and also they could help also with the kids uh, to do something that uh, it is good for the La Fonica for the future. Emeline, the, f the floor is your. Maybe you'll sit down, but it's okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, up to you. Thank you. Um, yes, we were three. Um, um, to spend invi invited to spend one month in uh, Elafonisos uh, last month, so it's super recent. Um, actually, I didn't really um, dig digest uh, all the um, all of the material that I uh, absorb um, in a way um, last month. Um, so I was with uh, two other artists, uh, which I I'm connected because we are working together actually in a, in a school in Brussels called La Cambre. Um, unfortunately, they could come um, in a elephant. So I will start to present their work. I will uh, try. Um, so the title is in French. So I, um, I will uh, translate um, the title of Benedict Enterix. In French, it's um, Ecologie de l'Emprunt Sauvage au Don. And uh, how to translate this? From giving, no. From the wild child <laughs> to the gift. <laughs> no, it's not child. <laughs> L'Emprunt. Um, uh, sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, from wild borrowing, borrowing, that's the borrowing, okay. To the gift. To the gift. To giving. <laughs> okay. Um, can you, yeah. So this is the summary. I, I will read the text in English because, um, after I will also maybe explain a bit with the um, picture, but everything that nature offers, water, earth, stones, um, driftwoods, bulbs, etc., is a source of inspiration and connection with the ancestors, crossing interiority and clarity of ideas. What is ecology? From the reduction of means, economic and visual, to borrowing exchange with the local population, the nomadic workshop, oops, continuation of the project in Belgium, contact and new collaboration. Actually, yes. Um, maybe we can uh, start with the picture. The idea of uh, Benedict was um, to do some um, outdoor studio, kind of, because also we have the chance to stay at the Vraco uh, house. So it's the rock house uh, a bit up in the in the hill, um, and had uh, this beautiful house. There is no really space actually that we can use to uh, make sculpture or painting or something more uh, big. So she decided to uh, find some place uh, in the nature, like um, studio, open studio, um, and she she borrowed some um, some material like uh, bulbs and woods, uh, floating woods and stuff like that. And she started to make some 
little sculpture um, in the um, in the nature. And then she decided also to to do a cross actually from the from the house um, with a bit up um, in the hill because she wanted to stay more um, close to the locals. And so she found a little kind of boat. You can maybe um, it's a bit further. Yes, this. So she she found a kind of um, its form, I think, or something like that, and she she took it as a as a little um, boat, <laughs> and she crossed actually. Um, yeah, from the from the house there to here. <laughs> uh, I think it took her maybe one a bit more than one hour to arrive here. So it was quite an um, intense experience, and she yeah, um, she lost a lot of stuff also. But she the day the day after the sea. Um, give um, give it give it back <laughs> so yeah um so she arrived in the in the in the village and she, she decided to stay more in the village because uh, for her it was uh, um important to spend more time with the locals uh, because there we were a bit uh, isolated so um there she started to um she continued to collecting some stuff uh, that she found a bit everywhere and um, as a as a gift at the end of this uh, process she she let also something to um, in return I mean uh, a little sculpture or drawing or some sweets or something like that so um, yeah it was um, her project Yeah, <laughs> I think we're gonna. Yes, this is some places that she found in the in the village, and she decided to yeah work inside. This is the the beginning of um, a map of actually, but she she couldn't finish it. Ah, yeah, and this is the studio that she. She built um, in her garden in Belgium because now, actually, this uh, give her the idea to continue about uh, collecting things and and stuff. So um, now she has a partnership kind of with a, um, yeah partnership with um, yeah a place in Belgium who, um, where she can go and collecting also like uh, stuff. <laughs> as a start for new sculpture. Okay. <laughs> this is the last one. So now we can yeah, switch. Mm. So <coughs> Naoki was also mm -hmm. oh. Naoki was also a uh, part of the trip, and um, he decided to stay more into the house <laughs> and um, make some painting actually uh, but uh, it was not so concluding <laughs> um but when he came back to Brussels, he started really to work actually after the after the time he spent here. So I have only five pictures of uh, his work, but um, this is a landscape inspired by um, Elephonisos landscape. Actually, it's a view from the top. Uh, you can see some trees and the moon in the center. This is also a view from, I think, the house, the rock house. Um, 
Yes. And this is not finished, but um, maybe I will also read what he. Yeah, I had the chance to participate in the Vraco residency, but much more than a residency during that month, I experienced said something that went beyond the simple artistic experience. I flourished in this idyllic environment. What better to hope for them from that wild nature where all the senses are activated activated. Eleven saw so su su surprise with its raw beauty. Thanks to this residency, I was able to pursue the rest of my artistic project. The images of the landscape are engraved in my mind and undoubtedly, undoubtedly I cannot say <laughs> something like this. Um, it influences my production. Not only the setting, but also the meetings with the population have nourished my process. Um, time was released and my form of creation was re renewed. All this really make me think of the inescapable need to preserve territory. This territory, due to the Worrying ecological context, which is unfortunately not an ex exception in Greece and the world. For this, I salute the association work to safeguard it. <laughs> voilà. This was uh, for now key parts. Um, no, yeah, I will uh, start with my work. So I selected uh, some pieces that I did uh, in the past just to introduce a bit uh, um, how I work and uh, how I um, arrived here or so. So this is a sculpture that I made uh, some years ago with uh, some towels, um, recycling towels actually. And this uh, is um, working like a vase, uh, so you can change uh, the flowers, there is a little uh, hole and you can uh, change the flowers, but there is no water inside, so you just um, able to see the flowers dying slowly. Um, you can go to the next one. And this is also flowers. As you see, I'm really interesting to flowers and no, maybe, yes. Um, this, I, this work I did in uh, Athens actually because I was living in Athens also like a few years ago and um, I had also an experience in Naxos, in the nature of Naxos. That's why also I was uh, really happy to participate in this uh, residency because I have uh, something, a connection with Greece since uh, a few years um, and uh, it was important to me to come back and uh, continuing this uh, kind of... Uh, a link, special link that I um, have with uh, Greece and island, Greek island. Um, so this flower I did in, um, in Greece because um, I, I just arrived, I, I was just arriving in Athens and I didn't have uh, no proper studio, no materials. And so, um, yeah, what to do when you have nothing like um, in your disposition, in your hands. So I start to collect also stuff. I had a lot of uh, bag, um, and so the flowers is made by one of uh, a bag that I, I kept from the market, and uh, the frame and yes, the the support is uh, made from cardboard also that I uh, collected in the, the flat I was uh, staying actually. Um, you can maybe. Matteo. Yeah. Um, this was uh, one of the skirts I made also there. Um, it's uh, ceramic. Uh, it's, it is a, a shoes, kind of a shoes. Uh, it's not really wearable. It's uh, more symbolic. Um, I did it um, in a ceramic uh, workshop in Athens. And on the top, it's uh, like a um, 
fur, um, how do you say, smell, smell. Soul. Okay. Um, also made uh, in a, some fabric that I found. Um, and the the, the, the on the under the the, um, the shoes, it uh, it is uh, some bricks that I collected also in the street in Athens, and um, I compose it with uh, seaweeds also um, as a um, kind of unstable um, assemblage. Um, so nothing is glued, just like a okay, yeah, it's. Um, so this is also another work, uh, part of this exhibition I did. Uh, it's also like napkins I collected and uh, glue on, yeah, on cardboard that I found. Matteo. <laughs> and so, yeah. Now I will introduce another part of my work. Um, after all this uh, kind of um, uh, experience that I had with uh, some organic, uh, let's say, matured. Um, I was thinking it was too anecdotal. I wanted to be really at, um, I mean, at uh, the start of the material. So uh, I decided to to make sculpture or to, to think the flower, like, uh, not like the, the picture of the flower, but work with the real material. So I started to, with another friend, to plant some uh, some flowers in a field in uh, Belgium, actually. Um, so I became a florist a bit. <laughs> so this is one uh, of um, our, uh, I think, first collect uh, last year. Yeah, one of the beautiful flowers that we had also last year. Now it's a bit a problem because uh, it's very dry also in Belgium. It didn't uh, rain from for also maybe more than one month. Um, yeah, okay. So this is one of the bouquets that I made with the local flowers. Um, this was uh, an event that I did in my studio. So I trans and transformed actually my studio in a shop, flower shop in a way. So I made a kind of a background with um, also flowers, um, painting flowers. And uh, I made some sockle. I don't know, I don't remember also the name, sockle. <laughs> anyway, yes, you can, yeah, you can see. It was a kind of a little installation. And people will, um, were coming, friends were coming um, and uh, spend time and having a drinks and um, buy some flowers from my field, actually, because we, have, we don't have a shop. So we are doing it like that. But, um, and uh, also that, yes, the idea was because in Belgium and I think a bit everywhere, because I, I saw it also in Athens, it's a bit a pity that uh, we cannot really um, find flowers like from, I mean, locals, uh, from yeah, local places. Um, and for me, it's very, um, I don't know, like I can I cannot uh, really work with flower who looks like uh, not really alive, who are very perfect and um, yeah. So that's why uh, I start to uh, make my own growing um, and so also this um, so this is a, a part of my work but I want also to yeah it's it's the beginning so um, when the flowers are uh, not really pretty enough to to make a bouquet um, I scan them so it's a bit like a herbier um, when you do like uh, collecting flowers and put them in a in a book or something like to yes to die and um, so yes, you can um, you can uh, go to the next picture. So this is the result actually of um, the scan um, I did, and <laughs> also I forgot actually the the flowers in the scan. So <laughs> you have also like the real live uh, um, what? Um, I don't know, like few weeks 
and then I, I put new ones and it's like really a ritual actually it's a yeah um bouquet life i don't know um so um for for my residency here i wanted to also like to find a place uh, where i i will be able to plant some flowers and um do some collaboration also with the locals and I start uh, with uh, friends that I met in um, Athens because we have this connection about flowers uh, and we, we were talking about this uh, since a long time and she studied uh, botanical um, um, stuff and so she she comes also in the rock house and we start to think a bit about uh, what kind of flower um, can we use in the island so I like also like the kind of uh, connection of this picture and the previous one, um, yeah, the scan and the yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we start actually. I I map three 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 um, places. So it was a bit around the garden of Enrico. <laughs> so this is the tree, the Kedros, um, famous Kedros from the islands, um, on the beach, and you can see all these beautiful woods. Um, I spot also um, the Agio Patapio path that we did also with uh, Fatimi and uh, her mother, uh, Rula. And yes, this is what at um, Agio Patapio. And yes, after that, after the, the pickup, we had uh, to do the process. So first um, we had to um clean everything and make um put everything in the yeah actually this is all the picture from my movie film video that i i'm gonna i'm gonna do soon but uh, uh i was not uh it was not ready because it's too soon um so it's screenshot from the from the film so yeah this is the process um you, you have to put some you have to do some uh, uh, mathematics first <laughs> and put some water um, with the quantity of flour that you have and then uh, um, just um, cook them <laughs> yeah we were waiting for the boiled moment boiling moment so here it is And yeah, so this this was um, ready. So I have also like the perfume here. You can taste it. So um, during the video, I will also like um, yeah go. <laughs> this is the this is the first one. It was a bit um, uh, more um, wild, and the other one is uh, more sweet actually. So um, actually, the the final one is a little um, this. The white, yes. Um, so the film, yes, uh, will be a longer, um, I think, uh, process. Uh, so for that also, I will work with uh, Saliva, with uh, here also with me, to work about uh, the music that we, uh, yeah, the, the soundscape we're going to do uh, for the film. And for that, we're going to um, register, like do field recording, which means uh, like, uh, taking the sound, surrounding sound, and uh, make um, yes uh, music and sounds <laughs> with this material. Um, yeah, I wanted to finish also quickly with this uh, previous picture because it's a picture of um, one of the the garden of my grandmother actually, um, and the wind she um, she won a prize because um, she had a beautiful garden and she was a plants lover and I, I think it's. Also because of that, I'm a plant lover now. Um, so we can just finish. Uh, I I found also other places um, in the islands. Actually, for me, it was important as a Benedict or as a else to find a place, like kind of a ritual um, and a place where I can um, I was able to go like every day to think and to. Um, have an experience actually because um, 
um, yeah, in the house, in the it was it was not uh, easy to to be alone and to think really. And I think it's important also to to make you in a kind of a f movement to be able to think. So I was going there everywhere, and uh, I was feeling good there. So I stayed, and I was thinking about um, flowers and garden and. Um, I decided actually to do a little garden in this uh, abundant uh, places uh, with some flowers that I collected and uh, some people, some local give give uh, give give to me actually. Um, can you just yeah? So you cannot see her. But it's Jan Jan who's <laughs> who's living here uh, since a long time now and. Uh, the next one is the last one. It's just a picture of the garden I've tried to um, begin. So yeah, that's that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Emeline. I believe that uh, the message uh, it is that uh, I believe that without uh, our association ecological association that uh, I be believe that uh, as we say for our symposium it is uh, ecological sustainable, eco gastronomy and eco art never we have been before in a Lafonisos artist that could perform and they could enter in contact uh, with uh, local people and uh, I believe that uh, I'm sure that it is uh, just a starting point and uh, our uh, idea it is for the next winter we had just uh, quite around 10 artists they will come uh, during the period from uh, october to may in order also to give uh, uh, an artist touch to the island the object is that each artist will leave one of his product there could be a song, it could be a music, it could be a picture, it could be a sculpture, it could be, it could be something, it could be a flower. And uh, I believe that it helps to have uh, a new way of thinking also for the local, also for the visitor. And at the end, the idea is to have uh, or a museum or an exhibition hall. And I believe also what uh, Carlo was uh, proposing uh, uh, it could be something that it could be linked together with some others. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, it takes time, but I'm sure that we could have uh, results. Uh, and also, if you could obtain that in the future, a La is seen not only for the Seamoth Beach, uh, but also that we have some uh, artist touch, uh, will be great. Bye. Bye.